I'm Tyson Weems, basketball official, former college player, and health edutainer. A point of emphasis among IABLE officials this year is properly enforcing rules related to the travel. And this video is to help them do that, as well as to help players, coaches, and fans adjust to it. Now basketball is a great game, but it'll be better if more officials can properly enforce the rules, if more players can use legal moves, if more coaches can teach legal moves and correct illegal ones, and more fans and parents can understand what's happening on the court. Now these sorts of changes won't happen overnight. They'll take what Allen Iverson likes to call practice. Meanwhile, there are some players right now getting away with some smooth looking illegal moves. But if they can learn effective legal ones like we'll cover on this video, it could make a difference for when they encounter officials who enforce the rules more strictly. It could happen at a high school state tournament, for instance. A couple of key concepts. A dribble begins at the precise moment when the ball leaves a player's hand. It ends at that precise moment when it comes to rest in a hand or hands. Meanwhile, a pivot foot is a foot that is on the floor when a player has the ball, allowing the player to move around that spot. And a player can pick up a pivot foot before passing or shooting, but not before starting a dribble. Let's talk about moves. First, starting a dribble from what we call a triple threat position, where a player can dribble, pass, or shoot. Here the key question is, has the ball left the player's hand before a pivot, if established, leaves the floor? One possibility is a player just catches the ball, hasn't established a pivot, and from here, the player can go this way, by stepping and dribbling, or the player can go this way, stepping and dribbling like that, both of those are perfectly legal, and they can be quick, powerful moves. Say I'm coming off the screen in this direction, I can catch, rip, and go pretty quickly, and have it be fine. That is legal, since I caught, and as I stepped, I created a pivot foot here, off my right foot, but the ball came out before the foot came off the floor. Now, let's say a player has established a pivot foot. In this case, I'm a righty, I got a left foot pivot. Now, if I want to go to my left, I can step and dribble just as before and have it be fine. But if I want to go to my right and I do a similar move and I step and dribble, I just picked up my pivot foot before the dribble began. That's a trap. Again, I have a pivot and I'm going to go in this direction. If the pivot foot came off, and I dribbled after that point. If I want that to be legal, I've got to do some practice. So the move looks like this. I'm gonna rip through quickly, get the ball out, and then chase it. Again, I was here, I ripped it through, I put it out there, and went and got it. That could be off of a shot fake, or off a little jab step. And again, one more time, at fast speed, there is, get the ball out before that foot leaves the floor. Now a couple other illegal variations. Players you might not want to watch this, just not have them in your head. In any case, one possibility is a player could have the ball and then have do what I call a switch pivot, like that, and then make the move. Again, they could have had a pivot at first or not, but they just brought both feet off the floor and then back down before starting a dribble. That's illegal. At no time can a player holding the ball jump in the air off two feet and then land on two feet again. And so with that switch pivot move, it's a jump, land, go. Another possibility is a player could have a sliding pivot. And this happens most off of a shot fake. So a player could have a left foot pivot, shot fake, slide the pivot foot, and then go. And at faster speed, it looks like this. Not legal. For officials, distinguishing between legal and illegal moves at game speed is no small feat, especially if we're keeping an eye out for upper body contact. It's worth noting though, if we can pick up the pivot foot immediately, we don't have to fixate as much on the feet.
because we already know in our heads that if we end up seeing the ball and that same foot come down together, that's an illegal move. Starting a dribble on the run. As usual, the key question is, is the ball getting out of the player's hand before pivot foot, if established, leaves the floor? And if I'm catching the ball from this side, and I want to get moving fast down the floor, I'm going to want to either rip really quickly, get it through and out, like on the wing, or, a lot easier, cross over on that first move, and then it out. So faster would look like this. No need to lose time and make it illegal. However, if I do what I see a lot of times from players, catch with this foot on the floor, step. Now that became a pivot foot once this foot hit the floor. And then step and dribble. That's not legal. Again, catch, step, step with the dribble. It happens all the time, but if we can teach players how to get that ball out with a crossover on the first step, it can be legal. One more time at faster speeds. Not legal, and then we'll leave the correct move again. 